after becoming the first side in 2012 to lower Sydney's colours last weekend, Adelaide faced up to another sizeable challenge in the shape of Premier's Geelong. The confidence gained from their success at the SCG was evident early as the Crows matched the champs stride for stride from the opening bounce. Tip it for the first goal of the afternoon. However, each time that Adelaide edged in front, Petrenko then to put the Crows in front, kick on its way. The Cats came back within a minute. And the Pochiatli goal, a very quick reply to the Petrenko. After both sides had gone goal for goal, the locals decided that it was time to take turn one by the throat. Off a step, he leads the Coleman coming in. Taylor Walker started the Crows mid-quarter run. Then Nathan Van Berlo continued it. The skipper kicking to give them a two-goal buffer. Scott Thompson was terrific in keeping their momentum going. Spills to Thompson. Well finished. Then Josh Jenkins jumped higher than anyone, earning the ex-Townsville Crocodiles basketballer a snap that put him in the esteemed company of players to get a goal with their maiden kick in the AFL. The 22-year-old, a dream start for him, a great start for the Crows. Tom Hawkins helped to hold Adelaide's run, reducing the Cats' quarter-time deficit to 19. Handball over the top, Christensen from the line, goal. Back However, they gifted the Crows maximum points upon the resumption. Right soccering, didn't get enough on it. Is that a goal to John Cock? Out of nowhere. And that triggered a dominant second stanza by the home side. Scooped over the top, John Cock, 30 metres out, runs in and goals. What a day for Adelaide. Champagne at the footy, caviar at the races. Walker might have been a tad fortunate to have this goal awarded on video review. It looked like he touched it inside the field of play. Yet there was no debating Adelaide's dominance as they made the Premiers look second rate. Slow approach, clinical finish. The Crows have got a feel about them today. The goals just kept coming as the Crows compiled an even half century for the second quarter. Tippett plays on from in the goal square, bangs through another one. It is all Adelaide. Adelaide's tally of 14-5-89 was their biggest first half score since 2001, with the crushing 63-point margin leaving the Cats looking for answers. And even though they began the third term with a rare positive, Duncan breaks a run of six for the Crows. It wasn't long before the Crows reasserted themselves. Gives it to Doughty. Throws it onto the boot. When in Doughty, go for goal. Jason Porplesia had the honour of bringing up triple figures for the South Australians. Back stolen by Dangerfield. Gives it to Porplesia. This will get the joint jumping. And even though their third quarter wasn't quite as explosive as the previous one, they weren't prepared to show their understrength opponents any mercy. He puts it on the right boot, fittingly, and brings it around just enough. For a battered Geelong, the closing quarter was all about avoiding embarrassment. Away from him, tried to kick it out of midair, somehow got it to Chapman, a consolation goal for the Cats. But for the winners in waiting, it was a chance to unleash their full range of skills. Terrific little sidestep, the banana, how does that work? That's outstanding. On a day when Adelaide's attention was divided between the footy and a four-legged freak called Black Caviar, it was a champagne performance by the Crows, thumping the title holders by 50 points before 35,000 mostly delighted fans at Amy Stadium. David Rowland's Big Pond Sport.